Hello guys, Julia here, and we are back with the uh, second episode of the series. Um, in the last episode, we got the network set up, um, well, sort of set up, just to where they were working. We hooked the VMs up to the network. We installed the Server 2019 VM and a Windows 10 Enterprise VM. We ran updates, and this is the latest version for Server at the moment. And this is the latest version of Windows 10 Enterprise or any, like, in, or just 1903 in general, because um, the enterprise is running 1903 and server is running 1809, which dot eight three two is latest for 1809 and dot is latest for 1903. But that's gonna obviously change eventually when they release new updates. But anyways, what are we gonna do? Anything you want to say? Uh, so I'd say let's go ahead and get DHCP installed on Windows Server. All right, go ahead. We can go ahead and get networking working correctly. So to do this, you're going to go to Server Manager. We're going to wait for it. Okay, we're done. We're going to add roles and features. We're going to do a role-based or feature-based install this server. So now what we're going to install is DHCP. Uh, I don't think we need to add anything else at this time. So DHCP basically allows the server to give out IP addresses. This is what gives out the IP address. Right now we do not have a DHCP server. This Windows server will be our DHCP server. And many people may ask, why do we need a DHCP server if we have a network? Would you like to answer that question for us? This makes it really easy to get onto the internet with the VMs because we don't have to set a manual IP. It'll just get one automatically. And Windows DHCP server, it makes it a little bit easy to manage it. And we'll show that later. Yeah, Active Directory works much better when you have a DHCP server set up. With the Active Directory. Yes. And all the way it works is that in most cases, at least in my setup, I have Active Directory, DNS, and DHC all on the same server. Everything just works. It's all com it just it just all works. That's the nice thing about it. Exactly. Now it is helpful to have a DHCP failover. We could do that. We may. We may make but another before. video based on this and keep the yeah. setup. So, another thing we'll end up doing is... We'll do that, later. We'll do that in a later video. So now DHCP... So from there, we need to complete the DHCP configuration. We'll go ahead and commit. Close. Then we can look in administrative tools and we will see DHCP. Now, DHCP is currently not set up. So we need to set that up. We have both IPv4 and IPv6. So we need to set up a scope. And what is a scope? This is basically the range of IP addresses we handed out on the network. Okay. So for this, we'll just call it lab. There we go. And we'll, we need to keep it consistent with the F. So we're going to do 100. And let's just say 10.10.0.20. Because I don't think we're going to have that many. Oh, you mean 120. Two, yeah, you mean 120. I was going to say, that doesn't look uh, right. I think we're going to have that many VMs, but we can always increase this later. So, we're not going to do this, as we're not going to put any IP address. We're not going to what? That would that page that I just skipped over would have been if you wanted to have a rain that would not get distributed automatically. Oh, like if you had like certain IPs that were static? Yeah. Okay. So... I'm going to say no to this as I normally... Oh, wait. Actually, yes, I will say yes, because I do want to configure these. Default gateway, 
Um, yeah, and then we can also add, oh, hold on, this is for DNS server, and of course we can always change these, which we'll have to do, next, I'm not going to worry about this, What is wins? That I don't know. Although I don't, I don't believe I've got it enabled in month. I think I heard about it before. We want to activate the scope, and we'll click on finish. So now we have our scope, and if we look at its properties, there's our IP addresses. If we look over here, it's options. There's our gateway, DNS servers, and here's where our address leases are going to be. So if you switch over to Windows 10 Enterprise, we can swap that over to DHCP. So to do this, we're going to go to our network, change adapter options. We're going to want to go over to our IPv4 and set this to automatically obtain. Correct. Once we those settings, once we save those settings, we can see if we give it a minute. I think it needs to obtain an IP. Yes, it does. So what we can do is, it looks like it's not wanting to right now, but we can force the IP config slash renew. And it could take it a minute or so before the network realizes, hey, that, well, or it could just work like that. We got an IP. We got an IP address. And if we look here, DHCP server is our server. I think that we have the same IPs we did before. Yeah, we did. We have the same and IP. Here's the thing. If you hop back over to Windows Server, I'm going to show you something that we're going to do. So what we're going to do is set up a reservation. If we look at address lease it, fresh, yeah, Oop, we have a bad address. That's interesting. What do you mean it's bad? It says bad address. IP is already in use. Oh, that's because the server is using that, isn't it? Yes, but what other, what other thing is trying to gain an IP address? Don't know. So if we come over here to reservations and create a new reservation, what we can do is call this server server 2019 set this IP address we need to get the MAC address of this VM which can easily be done in PowerShell oh is it There. There it is. So you're reserving it to where it cannot use the server's IP. This IP anything. address will be for this VM and this VM alone. So that's the no. reason that we got the bad address. We didn't reserve the the address for only the, the server. All right. Uh, we'll set this over to DHCP, set this, we'll call it number team add, and there we go. So we delete this one, yes. Huh? It wouldn't let us. Oh, because there's, there's two of them. There oh, it goes. There it is. So now we can see that here is our current setup. We have one DHCP for the Windows 10, and I'm sure that's going to increase as time goes on. So now we have a working network. So is that going to be this video? Uh, I would say yes, because that's what we wanted to do, is get a fully working network. So this video was setting up DHCP. 
Yep. So this is how you would set up DHCP on a Windows server to have the server give out the IP addresses on a network. Now this is good for businesses and stuff. We're just demonstrating it in a lab environment for education purposes. So pretty much keep in mind though, if the server goes down, the internet will go down and it'll stop giving out IPs. But if you have a DHCP failover and the server goes offline, that'll take over and hand out the IPs. Well, we can show that in a later video. Set up. Yep. So anyways, thanks for watching. Say bye. 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 Bye.